Hi, my name is Margaret Mercer. I'm a counselor in Melanchthon Township. This is my first term on council. Um, actually, I was very fortunate because I was acclaimed. I saw an opportunity and realized that they were having a problem getting people to run for council in my particular township, which is a very small rural community, about 3,000 thereabouts people located north of Orangeville, mostly agricultural rural land. Um, that's our primary use there. And um, so I stepped up. It was very um, fortuitous. I, the day that they were closing the um, uh, nominations, um, I read in the paper that some communities were having a problem finding people to stand for council. I contacted the CAO. She said, you have to get your papers in within the next two hours. And I said, I will do that. I got my papers in. And I um, became a counselor. Now, this is not as easy as it's been. I had run before in a large um, upper tier municipality in the GTA, and I almost won. I lost by a small margin of votes. That was about 14 years ago. I did also try to stand for a seat that someone vacated in Melanchthon, and there were a lot of people at that time. So the timing was really perfect. I have um, had property up in Melanchthon for about um, this is going to be my 16th year and the reason that I wanted to get on council I'm not happy with some of the decisions that have been made uh, I don't agree with um, some of the things that had gone on and you know if you don't agree all you can do really is get involved rather than complain and um, as an action person I really felt that I needed to do that uh, some of the hurdles that I had experienced running before as um, in a GTA was that I would go to the door and uh, I would have somebody and unfortunately it would often be a man say to me well I'm not even going to hear what you have to say because I would never vote for a woman which absolutely blew my mind because it's a proven fact that businesses with women actually function um, at a much um, a higher level of efficiency so that was troubling to me and I hope things have changed in that time I'm not sure about the rural landscape from that standpoint and I'm not sure if I will run again in Melanchthon but if I do I hope I don't encounter that kind of thing there have been other women um, counselors in Melanchthon a, a few, quite a few of them actually and a, a female mayor some years back um, the other the thing that I would tell people when you are um, running is don't be discouraged by what people will tell you first of all a lot of people are not up to speed on issues and a lot of the campaigning is educating people about issues it's important to listen um, and it's also really important to recognize that a lot of people aren't as connected in as you think they are they may know kind of the surface of facts but they don't know the in-depth and it's your chance to really tell them what's going on and to educate them but don't be discouraged Women can become mayors, women can, we can do whatever we set our mind to do. If people discourage you, if people come at you as if you're, um, proof you have no chance, don't let their um, negativity affect you. Have a sense of determination. Be very clear on what your platform is, your issues. Um, try to stay away from any of these um, disparaging attitudes that we ourselves often have around um, censoring our own thoughts our own beliefs and be your own person and also the all the talk about being too emotional or being too passionate uh, is not um, helpful because we don't have to follow a, a male paradigm we can be our own people and be leaders the way we want to be which for many of us is to engage our hearts and to care for the community so i want to thank you for this opportunity to share my thoughts and i am pleased so pleased uh, and my number one goal as a counselor is to listen to my residents while i have things priorities obviously my own views on things i do not have my own agenda i didn't get on council to push my own agenda of getting things done i got on council because i want to listen to what the community wants and my best most rewarding part of it is actually helping people and advocating for the residents thank you best to everybody